there are so many things I'd like to tell you about the brand new Firefly 8 SE and it turns out to be the most requested review I've ever done and I've been working on that for the last couple of weeks on top of that a giveaway coming later in the video I guess we can start let's go That's the Tech for All YouTube channel and over here you're going to find a lot of smart tech reviews. And one of our specialties, uh, action cameras. I was very much looking forward to try this one and I believe many of you, the Firefly 8 SE, which is the successor to the 8S model. And according to the majority of your comments, the Firefly 8S may be the best buy of 2017. One year later we have the SE version an upgrade that is supposed to continue the success of last year's flagship. Because of the kind of reviews I usually make, I'm using kind of the latest and greatest, the cutting edge of technology or the bleeding edge. On a personal level, I'm much more conservative and I follow a simple rule. I usually stick to the previous generation because it is well settled, well upgraded, and the problems that might occur are either well known or have already been sorted out. And the SE matches quite well my philosophy. It's the last year's top hardware with the maximum squeezed out of it. And of course, a lot of improvements and upgrades. We're of course starting with the unboxing. There's a new logo, font and design of Hawkeye, the company that actually stays behind the Firefly series. The package is decent, well designed, maybe not as attractive as GoPro's packaging, but the space is much better utilized and the box is full of accessories. You will find almost anything that you've ever seen as an accessory for action camera. From last year's assembly, the next strap is missing. It used to be a nice idea, but even I haven't used it at all. The nicest surprise is actually this. An included love microphone, right now uh, video and audio, I recorded both through the Firefly 8 SE. While the embedded one is quite well capable and nicely improved from the 8S, the add-on of an external mic makes the SE the best complete vlogging starter kit. Not only that, the mini USB port is standard and any kind of mic that you can connect via mini USB will be fine. Unlike SJ Counts, SJ7 and SJ8 models, where the connector is proprietary and you have to buy it additionally. You will also receive a remote controller, which is perfect for selfies or still night photography, where you're going to use long exposure. Speaking of connectivity, the mini USB port can be used for FPV via an additional cable, which is great news for drone enthusiasts. The internals of the 8SE are well known. Uh, the IMX117, that's a sensor by Sony, uh, and the Umbrella A12S75 chipset. This package is almost as good as the hardware of the GoPro Hero 5. Uh, there is decent upgrade of the optics, which gives improvements of the videos and the photos. The most obvious for the end user change is the display. It is now touch and menus are slightly reorganized. I'm still getting used to the new alignment, which looks similar to the SJ7 Stars navigation, but with improvements and cleaner interface. When you're scrolling up and down, better do it slowly. It is not as responsive as using a smartphone digitizer. What is really perfect is the ability to still count on the hardware buttons for the navigation. Uh, the touch screen with its initial firmware version was not that great, but I'm sure it's going to get polished with the forthcoming updates. The body of the camera is built out of quality plastic, it is well assembled, and having used intensively the 8S model for quite some time, I can only say good things. Navigation is quite nice, 
The grip is awesome and the buttons have wonderful placement. The battery performance is also great and it is boosted compared to the 8S. You can expect somewhere between 40 and 70 minutes of shooting and configuring at the same time. Almost no difference between 4K and Full HD in terms of battery performance, even if the gyro is on. And all that is based on real life experience. If the camera is in still condition, you can count on more than hour and a half battery life. Feature-wise, it has maxed the Umbrella processor inside. Since Hawkeye are always playing fair, there is no stabilization except for Full HD 30 and 60 frames per second. Resolutions are real. 4K is 4K, uh, so are 2.5 and 2.7K, and the lower rates too. There has been special attention given to the 120 frames per second on Full HD. We know that usually higher rates are a challenge for action cams, and the 8SE is a top performer, keeping most of the quality of the recording. 4K looks awesome, and the level of detail is quite high, above 62 megabits per second. This is 50% more detail than the SJ Cam SJ8 Pro, which in theory should be way better. But real life experience shows otherwise. All the videos I have recorded look good, sharp, and bright. There's a bit of noise visible in lower light conditions, which doesn't surprise. Overall, low light performance is excellent, and even with image stabilization on, there are not too many artifacts, which is good news for an overly budget action camera. All sort of shooting modes are there. You can think of video lapse, um, long exposure, time lapse, even car mode. After highlighting the positives, the current minuses are a few. There is no embedded speaker, kind of standard for all the 8 series of Firefly. The firmware is still glitchy. I had to remove the battery a few times with the initial release. But do not forget, a person like me is tinkering with the menus all the time, and a regular user is not. You also have to make sure a U3 microSD is in there. I used to be fine with uh, having 4K recording on Class 10 with the 8S, but the SE has a higher bitrate and you need a faster card. Just as everything else, the price had an upgrade too. Uh, right now the 8SE is trending at about $150, which is half of the price of GoPro Hero 5 and $50 less than what you would pay for the SJ7 Star, at kind of half of the price of the SJ8 Pro. Obviously, this is a bit more expensive than some of the models based on iCatch V50, a chipset that can stabilize image at 4K, but lacks many other features that you're getting with the 8 SE. There we go, not a perfect world. There's no action camera that ticks all the boxes, it's either the hardware, or some of the features, or the firmware, or the accessories, or the support. Speaking of the support... This model is out since just a week, and there already is a firmware upgrade. The 8S, last year's model, is the action camera with the most consistent firmware maintenance, and Firefly have decent online presence and are taking your questions and ideas seriously, which to me is very important and gives me the confidence to passionately recommend the 8SE as one of the best buys of summer 2018, even without stabilization on 4K. At the end, is it a worthy upgrade to the last year's model? Perhaps no, you probably don't need a touchscreen, but if you are on the hunt for a new action camera that has through 4K support and is awesome, the 8SE is one of the most reasonable choices, especially if you're looking to get a lot of accessories, including a love microphone for vlogging. And now, tell me, what do you think of it based on the footage you've seen so far? Before we wrap up, something very important. One of you is going to win this brand new unopened Firefly 8SE. I'm apparently going to continue using mine and making a few more comparison reviews. And somebody is going to be happy owner of a new Firefly 8 
as e. All you have to do is to check the description below and become part of the contest. I'm going to announce the winner as soon as the channel reaches 10,000 subscribers, which I hope is going to happen rather soon. So go ahead, try your luck. At the end, some credits. A huge thanks to Victor from Firefly's development team. As always, he has been super patient and responded to all my tons of questions. And it's really great to see uh, such good presence of uh, Hawkeye online uh, actually listening their community. Secondly, a big thanks to Gearbest for sponsoring the giveaway of this one. And thirdly, a huge thanks to you, uh, my viewers and subscribers. It's been a pleasure to make this review for you and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode. Cheers! Bye.